TV, selfmadelife.com. Go get some merch, man. And um, y'all see the title, man. First off, shout out uh, Barber Cop Conversations. You know, always getting good interviews. I don't agree with all his opinions, but the work he put in, you know, for as the media work, and you know, some of his angles, you know, you got to give Barbershop Conversations his credit, especially when it comes to uh, the work he put in in the boxing community. But um, he did an interview with Sugar Hill. Shout out Sugar Hill, Detroit in the building. 313 East Side to be exact, but shout out Crunk Jim, Emmanuel Stewart, the legend. But yeah, um, Barbershop Conversations did an interview with Sugar Hill. And man, when I seen the thumbnail and the title, I kind of knew what it was going to be. But, you know, hey, entertainment is entertainment, man. I had to watch it. And um, I'm going to say, you know, I, I'm actually I'm actually still, I'm like halfway through it. It's like a four hour. I might not make it through the whole thing. So, But from what I've seen so far, man, um, Sugar Hill stood his ground, man. The Team Wilder and the, and the Glove Gate questions were strong, man, and it was just, I ain't gonna lie, it was just kind of sad to watch, man, because it's like, you know, boxing is a great sport, man, and it was just crazy how so many Wilder fans asked Sugar Hill the same question, just in a different way, like, you can just tell they were just begging for Sugar Hill to say they cheated, or to slip up, or to say he apologized, like, they were just begging for Sugar Hill to give him something, man. He stood strong and told him the truth, you know. The gloves were not tampered with. Um, Tyson Fury's real problem when it comes to his power was that he was slapping his punches. So that's why he was um, a so-called pillow fist puncher. And he just kind of, you know, he, he set the record straight, man. And, I, and I'm glad he did it. Now, you know, hopefully Glove Gate can be over after this. But I doubt it, man. I doubt it's going. It's not going to be over, man. To to they see that fight, and um, I I suggest y'all go check it out, man. It, you know, decent interview. You you going it's gonna be hard to get through a lot of the the, the the same damn Wilder question. It was just like like seriously, over and over and over. They just kept asking Sugar Hill. Well, why was the glove fight? How do you feel about Steve Cunningham's opinion? What's up with the cameras cut? Like. Like, they just, like, the same person was just coming with the same question, and Sugar Hill was giving them the same answer in 10 different ways. Like, I don't know what the Wilder fans won't get, man. And it, they, they kind of, the, the more this glove game is prolonging, it's just looking sadder and sadder because it's like, all right, you know, Wilder is complaining about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take nothing off Wilder, but he's not as going hard as his fans, man. It's just like, i never seen a fan base this upset over somebody losing like seriously and then y'all not even like i can see if y'all was upset over like a, 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 a somebody with, with you know a, a skill set y'all y'all really like and you know it's a lot of casual fans but y'all really you know upset with somebody that only had one skill you know water is a great fighter great power puncher but we got to be honest y'all in the skills department he's lacking and i think the Wilder fans don't want to be, you know, realistic like everybody else and just come to the fact that Wilder has to work on his skills. Perfect example. Use myself. I was a big Adrian Broner fan. Still is. A little less than I was back in the day, but around that time, you know, he was uh, going off at 135 and when he made the jump to um, 147, huge AB fan, you know. He had the he had the swag, you know. He had the young the young Floyd, and that boy could box his ass off. And a lot of fights, I'm rooting for him. The Sean Porter, the Sean Porter fight, um, the Mikey Garcia fight. You know, a couple of his early losses. And as I'm watching the fight, as a fan, like I say, big Adrian Broner fan, I'm watching. AB wouldn't let his hands go. You know what I'm saying? AB just wouldn't let his hands go. Now, I could have said, oh, they cheating AB. They don't want him to win. They don't want him to be like Floyd. No, I could have said, you know, a million excuses. But me being a realistic fan, I had to tell myself, you know what? I like AB. He's a good fighter. But I'm not going to get too geeked for the fights no more until he started letting his hands go. You know, I had to be honest. Like, shit, he just not letting his hands go. Simple as that. You know, wasn't really no excuses could be made. And I think 
the, the Wilder fans need to kind of do the same thing here. You know, Wilder has to work on his boxing skills, man. He has to work on his boxing skills. And until, you know, he, he does that and shows us improvement, man, I, I, I just think it's, it's, it's not going to be good for him and his fan base, man. So, y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think, man. Self Made Life TV, selfmadelife.com. Go get some merch. We out. Okay.